guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Elizabeth, and for today's video, I am going to do a get ready with me for the Marine Corps ball. If you guys don't know, my husband is in the military. He is in the Marine Corps, and I actually, okay, so I'm not going to the ball. I ordered my dress, and when I got here, my husband told me that he wasn't planning on going to the ball, and if he was, he was only going to be there for a couple hours because unfortunately it's here in our town and um, they're not gonna have childcare longer than like 9 or 10 p.m. or something ridiculous like that so I just decided I'm not going but one of my good friends is actually doing our ball photos and so I thought I would get ready with you guys and show you how I'm doing my makeup and hair for my ball photos and I would actually wear this exactly if I was going to the ball this year which I'm really sad that I'm not um, we had such a fun time last year. Yeah, so it's a little unfortunate that I'm not going to the ball this year, but I wanted to show you guys how I did my hair and my makeup. I've actually done a couple of the girls' hair and makeup for the ball um, over the years, and I've gotten a lot of questions on my Instagram asking advice for how to do my hair or how I do my hair or what makeup I use and how I use you know what I do how I do what I do for the ball I am no professional I just really love makeup and I really love hair and so I thought I would show you guys how I do it before we get into the video if you guys are new here I would really love it if you guys subscribe to my channel I make a lot of mommy content but I do plan on making more beauty videos even though the beauty community here on YouTube is pretty large. If you guys are enjoying this video while you're watching it, then please like it. Wow, the light just got really bright. <laughs> Alright, you guys, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So, I have my mirror right here. I've already put lotion on, moisturizer. Um, so, I'm going to start with this Needles No More. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of that my fingers, rub it together, and put it underneath my eyes. Next, I'm going to take my Cover FX primer, and I'm going to put it where I have problems. I'm going to take my favorite foundation. It is the Fenty foundation. It is just a little too yellow for my skin tone, but that's okay, because we're going to make it work. I don't really have an idea of how I'm gonna do my makeup. I think I'm just gonna wing it. I know because my gown is um, burgundy. I know I want to do burgundy lip. I'm not gonna do my concealer yet because I kind of want to do my eye makeup first. Um, I'm gonna take an eye primer. The specific one that I'm doing today is just this Mary Kay eye primer. I've had it for a long time. Um, I have quite a few other eye primers, but I don't know where they're at. Okay, to set my eyes, I'm just gonna take my Fit Me powder, a brush, and just set. I know for sure that I want to start off with this Nightingale palette. Um, I got it in my Boxy Charm, and if you don't, you guys don't get Boxy Charm, you should definitely get Boxy Charm because I think it's it's worth it 100%. Like that primer um, that I used is like a $38 primer, and I got it in my $20 Boxy Charm with a few other things. I'm gonna start off with this shade as a transition shade. Um, that's in the shade Hide and Seek, and. With a big old honking blending brush. Oopsie. I grabbed the wrong color. It's okay. Just flip it away. Just kind of put that all over your lid. Alright, alright. Next, I think I'm gonna take. Next, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called Tan. And then I'm gonna mix these two together and put that right on top of what I just did. I hope you guys can actually see in the windows I'm making it too bright. I'm actually going to take another palette. This is a ColourPop palette. Um, I think this is the shade Sparks Fly. And I'm going to put that in my crease with this blending brush. Just be super careful. I'm just kind of trying to focus it on the outer. Kind of like, I don't know if I have hooded eyes, but I try to raise my eyebrows just a little bit so that way I don't get it like up here, you know. So raise my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna go back to that big blending brush that I used in the beginning, and I'm just gonna blend everything out. No 
harsh lines. I'm gonna take this shade right here, shader brush, and I'm actually gonna wet that with some um, of this Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. Yeah, Skin Mist. Oh my gosh, that's so pigmented, and it's so pigmented without even spraying your brush. Like I put this on with my fingers sometimes, and it's ridiculous. I kind of want my eyes to stand out and um, tonight for pictures, of course. But I don't want to go too heavy with my eyes, like too much, like too dark, because I am gonna have dark lips, and I don't want to kind of overpower. You know what I mean? Just have like dark lips and dark eyes. I don't really want that. I'm not finished with my eyes yet. I'm gonna do my concealer right now. And for my concealer, master conceal my fingers together and then just kind of apply that where I need it, which is there, there, and a tad there. Blend. I'm going to take my airspun loose powder set and around my nose because I creased there. Oh my god, that's a lot. I'm going to just brush my eyebrows out. My eyebrows are microbladed, so I don't need too much of this product. So I think that is done. I just need to trim these little guys, even though I trim them all the time, honestly. I trim them so often. But I think that's how I'm going to leave my brows. Um, now I'm just going to take... I'm just gonna take a brow gel and put those puppies in place. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move on to the bottom of my eyelid and I'm gonna take that same shade Sparks Fly that I used pretty much in like the crease of my eye with a liner brush and I'm going to line with a shader brush. I'm going to take just like a neutral color to blend that out slightly. Okay, I think that's about where I'm gonna leave my lower lash line. Okay, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure where my camera stopped recording. Um, but I tried House of Lily lashes and they came out like crap. They seriously look like I was missing a bunch of eyelash extensions. I don't know. They look pretty in the packaging, but I don't like those. So I went to go. I went ahead with these Kiss lashes that I got at Walgreens for like probably like eight dollars. These look way freaking better than those other ones. Okay, so while I let these dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get on to my bronzer and blush and highlight. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm going to go with two different bronzers. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with um, Unique Beachfront Bronzer in this shade Hermosa. I didn't even set my face. Hold up, wait a minute. I'm gonna brush this excess off my face. Kind of just brush it around. You guys, I promise my face is not this white. It is such a pretty bronzer. Um, it's a very natural bronzer, at least on my skin tone. And so I'm going to go in with a different one, too, on top of it, just because I feel like it's not dark enough for pictures and that I don't think it's going to show up. Now I'm going to go with my next deep tan bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit deeper with that same brush, and I think I'm going to contour just slightly. So now you can actually see my bronzer. Um, but I'm also gonna take just, like a big fluffy brush. This is MAC Studio. I'm gonna blend that just slightly. Now for my blush, I'm gonna take this Laura Geller blush. And I'm just going to put some blush on. And that looks so pale. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with highlight. And for highlight today, I'm just gonna be using big one with this Becca highlight. I think that it's just so pretty with just like a little highlighting brush. And I'm gonna make myself look like a glazed donut for today's pictures. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on my inner corner of my eye um, to kind of brighten up the look just a little bit. Now that my um, lashes are dried, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them and put just a little bit of mascara on them, and then I'm gonna put, I don't, I was going to put black eyeliner on, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm actually not going to put any on my lower lash line just because my lower lashes are also really long and they're going to transfer to my makeup, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm going to take this Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty 
lip liner in Trophy Wife and I'm going to go ahead and line these crusty lips. Okay, so now that they're aligned, I'm going to just kind of put this all over my lips um, as a lipstick and then I'm going to go over it with something else. So now that my lips are aligned with this, I got this Adesse New York lipstick. Um, I'm not sure what shade it is. This is what it looks like right here. So it's kind of similar. Um, it's going to tone down the purpleness and the plumness of this lipstick that I have on. So I'm just going to go over my lips with this and hope that it turns out good. <laughs> I really like how this came out, but I think I'm going to add some more gold in the corner of my eye just because I kind of want them to stand out just a little bit more. So I'm going to take this Kerr Sculpture Palette and I'm going to take this top shade right here. I'm going to add to that just to make it more, you know, obvious that I have that there. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same Tarte Ready Set Radiant for setting spray setting spray and I'm going to put that all over my face and this is the finished makeup look I think that it looks so pretty and it's very girly and it definitely I think it's more for an event like this because it's darker um, my eyelashes definitely stand out and so does my eyeshadow and my lips of course um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to the hair. Okay, so I did just get my keratin treatment, so I don't have much to do to my hair. If this was just like a regular day. This is how I would leave my hair, honestly. Um, you can kind of see that it's like really pretty and natural. But for the sake of pictures, I'm actually going to take my hair straightener and then just kind of straighten down like the flyaways that are on top of my hair. Okay, so now that I have that going on, I'm going to just section my hair off into two sections. It's so hard to do my hair sitting down. I have such long hair that I need to be standing. Um, I have my standing mirror over there, so I'm kind of like trying to see. It's been a while since I've curled my hair, honestly, since my last keratin treatment washed out, probably like three months ago was the last time I curled my hair. And I'm so excited that I can curl it again. Okay, my hair is done. This is what it looks like. Obviously the curls are still super tight. Um, I'm gonna let it cool down before I shake my hair out. I'm gonna go ahead and get my dress on so you guys can see what my dress looks like. Okay, so this is my gown. Um, I think it is beautiful and I have the brightness up quite a bit just so you guys can see the detail in my gown. Um, hi guys. <laughs> So it is floor length, it's very mermaidy, and I think it's just complements my body type very well. Um, I think it's beautiful. You saw the back detailing. The back is what actually drew my attention. I think it is just perfect, and I don't know, I just love it. It is so beautiful. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed watching my get ready with me for the ball and ball photos tonight. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!